Ryan Reynolds here from Mint Mobile. With the price of just about everything going up during inflation, we thought we'd bring our prices down. So to help us, we brought in a reverse auctioneer, which is apparently a thing. Mint Mobile Unlimited Premium Wireless. How to get 30, 30, how to get 30, how to get 20, 20, 20, how to get 20, 20, how to get 15, 15, 15, 15, just 15 bucks a month? So Give it a try at mintmobile.com slash switch. New activation and upfront payment for three-month plan required. Taxes and fees extra. Additional restrictions apply. See mintmobile.com for full terms. This is a Shares for Beginners quick tip. Essential lessons, questions answered. So building a long-term diversified portfolio, tell us about some of the traps for new investors. Yeah, look, everyone says do your research before you invest and it's almost a bit of a throwaway line because people coming into this space, they don't know what that means. You know, I certainly didn't know, you know, going into the GFC, I'd started at a stockbroking firm, I had no idea about what to invest in, how to invest or the steps I should take to begin researching things. And you think about all these different companies and, you know, you look at the city and there's all these logos at the top of buildings and, you know, they're all big substantial companies, but are they good investments? So I think the way to identify or the way to start researching businesses is to think about what you use on a daily basis. And we say a lot here, you know, invest what you're invested in. And some people go, huh, what do you mean? But when you think about it, I've got an iPhone So let's take Apple as an example. You look at the performance of Apple over the last few years and you're like, wow, that's done really well. Let's have a look at why. And that's where you start to scratch the surface. So what are we invested in is a really good place to start with identifying something of interest. You know, do you wear Nike shoes? Have you ever bought a TV from Kogan? Let's have a look at Kogan. You know, have you bought a book from Booktopia? Let's have a look at that. These are listed companies. All their financials are online. You can download a presentation, you know, management presentation and see what they actually do, what those drivers are. So I think, you know, trying to pick the next GameStop is a sure way to lose money. You might get it right every so often, but you really do need to to research things. And the easiest way to start is to think about what you use as a product, as a service on a daily basis and yeah, invest what you're invested in. And it's um, very good to do that as well and to actually buy the company. And then once you've got a bit of your own money on the line, you become very interested in its performance. And Absolutely. you just want to learn everything you can about it. And it's important because I think so many people just want to be given tickers on a plate. They don't want to know about the company. They don't want to do any research. And I guess that's where ETFs come in. Yeah, absolutely. I don't want to put tickers on a plate, but you know, to give you a bit of insight into the typical portfolio that we see new investors setting up at Superhero. And when you step back and think about it, it is those companies and sectors that we are, you know, using on a daily basis. So it's the NASDAQ 100 ETF, very popular on the platform. And you look at some of the top holdings, it is Apple, it's Tesla, it's Google, it's Microsoft, it's Amazon, like some of those massive companies, Netflix. I mean, these are companies that we have, we certainly know them and we may have an everyday sort of interaction with those businesses. The next one is the Asia Tech Giants ETF or Tech Tigers ETF. So those are things like Alibaba, JD.com. Now, some of these companies have been under pressure a little bit lately. There's some regulatory changes out of China and those are the sorts of things that you start to pick up on in the news Once you do have some of your money on the line, you start to go, well, hang on, what is going on with China? Because I've got exposure to it through an investment. The Vanguard Aussie Shares Index ETF, that's another very popular one. So that gives you exposure to the ASX 200. It is broad exposure, but our market has done very well as well. So those are the sort of the three ETFs that people look at, and that's just data that we've pulled from our system. And then they look at individual shares as well. When we look at the US, it's uh, Apple and Tesla by a long way. And those are the guys that everyone's got an iPhone. I always say everyone who's got an Android is just waiting to get an iPhone. <laughs> but Thank you for yeah, that. You'll get there one day. And Tesla, you know, you see Elon Musk and he's like Tony Stark. He's like Iron Man, you know. So I think there's that, you know, that attraction to that sort of person. And, you know, their shares have been performing very well. So that's sort of the average portfolio that we see newcomers coming and, and setting up. And, you know, past performance is not an indicator of future performance. But you look over the last, you know, year, 
couple of years, even with the volatility that we saw through the pandemic early last year, even through the GFC, if you are really looking at long-term investing, which for some people sounds really boring, but if you look at real long-term investing and you just keep putting money in, putting it away, markets always recover and they always go back. History has told us markets always go up. So in the short term, you could see big spikes down. But yeah, it's fascinating to see the data that we've pulled on those new investors looking at those sorts of portfolios. If you found this podcast helpful, please tell a friend, especially if it's someone who needs to start thinking about investing for their future. You'll be helping them and helping me to keep this show on the road. Shares for Beginners is for information and educational purposes only. It isn't financial advice and you shouldn't buy or sell any investments based on what you've heard here. Any opinion or commentary is the view of the speaker only, not shares for beginners. This podcast doesn't replace professional advice regarding your personal financial needs, circumstances or current situation. And thank you for listening to my podcast. At Staples Business Advantage, our team of experts can help you find the break room products to satisfy everyone's preferences, while AI can suggest popular items, monitor stock levels, optimize pricing, and automate reordering. AI can do a lot of things, but I can never know the taste of a truly great cup of coffee. Sigh. But you also can't get hangry. This is true. At Staples Business Advantage, we help you select from 2,000 break room products so you can be sure there's something for everyone. Yum. Sign up today and save 20%. Staples Business Advantage. Business is human.